Jeffrey. New perspectives after I came back to life. In 1989, when I was 19 years old, I learned that my girlfriend was having an affair with my friend. I took a lot of drugs to commit suicide. My mother noticed something was wrong and immediately rushed me to the hospital by ambulance. By the time I arrived at the hospital I was already unconscious and seriously ill. At that time, my consciousness escaped from my body and my soul. Looked around the hospital room. I was then pulled by an angel into the pillar of light. We moved in the light at a tremendous speed. And arrived in front of the gate of heaven where I saw a lot of people waiting. But I didn't line. Up there as my companion angel led me to look back on what I had experienced in my life. The offenses room. Immediately the scene changed and a huge brown monster appeared in front of me. The monster. With five or six horns and multiple eyes, swore at me. The monster showed me a cubic room in. Hell. The hell room is designed to give various sufferings according to the characteristics of each. Soul. The monsters were delighted to see people suffering. When I was put into that room, the scenes of the people I had hurt in my life flashed back one by one. My words and deeds made me learn how the people around me were hurt. How insensitive, ruthless, and cruel I was to the feelings of others. It was indescribably painful to be able to experience the hearts of those I have hurt. The Suicide Room the scene changed and I found myself in a very dark room. It has a low ceiling, it's very cold, and the floor is wet. It's pitch black and I can't see anything, but I could see a faint light in the distance. When I went there relying on the light, people gathered there on their knees. Those who have slashes on their wrists, those who have ropes wrapped around their necks, and those who have shattered heads. Everyone probably tried to commit suicide in some way. They didn't speak. Any word, only their screams were echoing. The devil grabbed a few and immediately threw them into a burning hell. When I closed my eyes, scared that I might be the next one, the sins I have committed in the past flashed back and become painful. However, when I opened my eyes, my eyes become hot and I could not endure the pain. The room was dark and cold and my kneeling posture on my toes and bent knees also caused me physical distress. Learning my destiny. As I couldn't bear the pain and was sobbing, I suddenly heard a voice saying, Ask him for help. As soon as I prayed to God many times, the scene changed and I was drawn before the Lord Jesus Christ. When he asked, Why are you here? I replied, The world is unfair. I don't want to be part of this world anymore. However, he explained how I came to this earthly life. It was my own desire, it was my own self who strongly hoped that I would be born in this world. I had a detailed plan of where I would be born and who I will be and what kind of life I would live. I had a contract with the great God, and if I did not live according to the contract, I would have to pay the price. I had a complete understanding of the problems and contradictions of life in the world, but I still wanted to be born. I was also taught that the life of each soul is planned by God. Each person has his or her own situation, and past actions and lessons learned in the physical world determine the person's current situation. Jesus added that humans are rarely satisfied with their situation. When I heard that, I had no choice. I have to return to the human world to fulfill the covenant with God and continue with life. Shortly thereafter, I was again caught up in something like a whirlpool and returned to this material world. The nurse said I had been in a coma for about three days and had died for six minutes. As I returned through the tunnel, the Lord Jesus showed me what would happen in my future life. With images and words, I later recalled that everything that happened in my life, including my back injury, was accurate in time and place. Psalm 139,16 You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. 
Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. Job 14 colon 5 Our time on earth is brief, the number of our days is already decided by you. What I learned from this experience. I was involved in buying and selling drugs, indulged in alcohol, and lived a bad life. After my resurrection from hell, I became a different person and lived a serious life. People say that I am kind to others and have a calm and peaceful feeling. What did I learn from this experience? Life is like a puzzle with a magnificent picture. When the puzzles are cut into pieces and explored one by one, designed by God so that everything is found in the right place when needed. I understand that what I saw was much clearer and more true than my dreams. It's like filling in the puzzle pieces one by one and completing my life little by little every year. Regarding the difficulties faced in life, I think the difficulties are set to give us experience and to shift the timing of events. For example, it is troublesome if a tire punctures on the highway. It may have prevented me from having an accident later down the road. 